Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best smothered chicken with an onion gravy. Trust me, after you try this recipe, you're not going to want to make it any other way. So, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to start out by seasoning our chicken. Here is the spice blend that I'm using. I'll definitely be listing everything that I use and the measurements in the description below, so make sure you check that. So we're going to start out by blending all of these together. Make sure that it's fully incorporated. All right, looking good, looking good. There we go, should look like that. Okay, so we're gonna add some of our spice blend. Not too much, you don't wanna over season it. And the remainder of it, you're gonna add to your flour and cornstarch mixture. So it can be later used to make the gravy. All right. All right that should be good right there. Now you want to give it a mix to make sure that your chicken is evenly covered in your spice blend. It's not going to take much to do this. This is a quick process. Okay, so once your chicken is fully covered in the spice blend, you want to set it aside to let it marinate for about 15 minutes, maybe 20. If it looks like this, you know your chicken has been seasoned well. All right, so let's move on to the next step. Now. Now we're gonna add the remainder of that spice blend to our flour and cornstarch mixture. All right, now we're gonna give that a mix. All right, you wanna make sure that this is mixed in all the way through and that there aren't any patches of seasoning. You wanna make sure that it's all through your flour and your cornstarch mixture. You don't want any salt pockets. So you can do this with a whisk, a fork, but I prefer to do it with my hand right now. And yes, I did change my gloves from when I handed the chicken. Well, my one glove. Alright, that looks good to me. Alright, let's move on to the next step. Now you want to grab your two eggs and beat those together. Make sure that it's fully incorporated. Blend it all the way. You don't want any yolk patches or egg white patches. You want this to be mixed all the way. So now, what we're going to do is take our chicken pieces, just dip it in the egg, and into the flour. So I'm gonna do two at a time so I can show you guys exactly what to do. All right, once you get your chicken in that flour, you wanna just make sure that it's coated on both sides and definitely make sure that you don't leave any bare spots. You want this chicken to be fully coated in the flour and you wanna press it down to make sure that that happens. So you, even with without having skin, we're still gonna have some flakes on here. You see that? Let me get those bare spots. All right, okay. Now you just want to set it aside to make sure that the flour adheres to the chicken. Okay, give that a shake. Okay, now oh, wait a minute, bare spot, bare spot. No bare spots allowed up in here. All right. All right, you see those flakes that are created? This will have a nice fry. Okay, set that aside. So guys, I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and I'll be back when they're all done and it's time to start frying them. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like once it's completed. You want to just set it to the side for about 15 minutes before frying and at this point you want to make sure that your oil is heating up to about 325 degrees. We're going to give those a shallow fry on each side between like four to five minutes. And also make sure you don't discard your seasoned flour. We're going to be using a small amount of this to make our gravy. So let's head over to the stove so we can start frying this chicken. All right, our oil is hot enough. Let's drop some of these chicken pieces in that oil. I'm gonna do three at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Okay, so we're gonna fry these on each side between four to five minutes until they reach a light golden brown color. We are not cooking these all the way through because we'll be cooking these 
the remainder of the whey inside of the gravy so there's no need to cook these all the way through you want to make these you want to make sure that your chicken is still juicy and still you know tender so that's how we'll be doing that but of course i'll be showing you guys every step of the way so i'm going to let these fry on this side until it's time to turn them and i'll be showing you exactly what these should be looking like at this point I had a slight audio issue here, but here is what your chicken should be looking like after frying four to five minutes on the first side, and you're gonna to continue to do the same on the second side. All right, guys, so the chicken has finished frying from four to five minutes on each side. This is what it's looking like right now. So now, our oil that we just finished using to fry these pieces, I'm going to discard the majority of it and leave behind about three tablespoons of it so we can start sauteing our onions. And the stuff in the bottom is okay if that's left behind because that's called fine and that has a ton of flavor which will give a boost to your gravy. So let me discard the majority of this oil like I said and I'll be back when it's time to saute these onions. All right, so here's what it should look like once you reduce the amount of oil that you have. So this is still warm. So to this oil, I'm gonna be adding some butter I'm gonna just let this melt. And keep your uh, your heat on low for this one. You don't want it popping everywhere. Seeing all of this is coming up. See that? All that goodness. This gravy is gonna be just perfect. Definitely flavorful. All right, so I'm gonna grab my onions so we can add them. There we go. All right, now you wanna move these around and this process isn't gonna take long either. This is probably gonna go for about four, maybe five minutes. You don't wanna cook them all the way down to they're really like soft and too tender because you don't want them to be soggy in your gravy. You still want it to hold their shape. So about four to five minutes, like I said, should be cool for this. Then we're gonna add our flour and we're gonna take it from there. All right, so I'm gonna let this go for the remainder of the time. I'm not gonna hold you guys here. So when I come back, it'll be time for me to add that flour. It's flour time. With your flour, you wanna add it in gradually, not all at once because you may not need it all. So you basically wanna do this for about four minutes just to cook that rawness out of the flour so you don't have that, that chalky raw taste. This looks perfect, man, guys. This smells so good. I wish you guys were here, but when you make this, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna add a little more flour. All right, that's good. Guys, don't forget that that is your seasoned flour that we made earlier. That's what you will be using. And if you need to adjust anything to your preference, go ahead. That is totally fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do this for about two more minutes. Then we'll be adding in our chicken broth. And then follow behind the rest of the ingredients. And at this point, guys, also, you wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees, because we are going to be cooking this in the oven. Okay, that looks good to me. Oh man, guys, I'm excited. Guys, if you haven't, make sure that you like this video and please, please, please share it. And definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, I will greatly appreciate that and also turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Trust me, you guys don't wanna miss the things that I have coming up. Time for that chicken broth. Let's mix that in. may seem a little loose, but trust me guys, that is perfectly fine. Because as it cooks, the gravy will definitely thicken up because we got that cornstarch in there and as well as the flour. 
So that's normally what happens when you make gravy anyway. It thickens up as it cooks. I just want to mix that in. Good to me. I'm gonna let it go for a couple of minutes. Marry these guys together. Guys, you can see the flavors in this. Like I know you see the specks of the thyme and you know, as well as like the black pepper and the other seasonings. I know this gravy is gonna be great. You gotta trust in me. I hope you guys try this recipe out. This is definitely something you don't want to pass up on. All right, guys, so I already started to place the chicken into the gravy. And I did taste the gravy off of camera. It tastes amazing. You guys have to try this recipe. I kid you not. You will never make it another way. And we got room for one more. Go oh, guys, oh man. All right, so we don't need to baste them just yet. Just wanna make sure everything is in place and even. Hey. All right guys, so my oven has already been preheated to 375 degrees. I'm going to place this in the oven for 45 minutes to be exact. And once they come out, you already know I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Then it'll be time for us to plate up and taste up. All right, I'll... All right guys, it's about that time. I just took this from out of the oven. Oh boy, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at that gravy. Oh my God, guys. Wow. This is just right. Just baste it a little bit. Wow, all right. All right, let's put a little bit of food glitter on here and make it look a little bit pretty. All right, now. Let's plate up now. Plate up. So I went old school with it. Paired it up with some white rice and some corn. I know you guys remember that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, baby. Get some of that good gravy. Just drizzle that over the top. Put some on the rice, can't forget that. Look how good this looks, guys. Here's a close up. We're getting ready to dig in. Let's do it. Let's give it a taste now. Mm, guess I'll start right here, it's the closest. Wow, this cut so easy. Oh my God, look at that. That is some tender meat. Let's see what it does. Wow. Mm. Wow. And the chicken is cooked all the way through and it's so moist. Oh my God. You guys gotta try this recipe. Definitely, this is an A plus. Guys, and also make sure that you like, comment, share this video, and definitely subscribe. And also click the notification button so that you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. All right, get a last look at it. All right. All right, guys, see you in the next video.